So here is the box for the stretcher bars. I gotta pull these out. They're pretty tight in here, so I'm gonna have to cut the box open. But this is how I'm gonna make the wood frames for the canvas. One corner, two corners, three corners together. Now I'm on the fourth corner, and I'll put this last one together, then I'll hammer all four sides to make it so that it's even. No laying inside the frame. Okay, you must move. So my partner here is working really hard on chewing on a tire. Well, I finished screwing in the hardboard corner panels that will give me an extra sturdiness in this large frame. So I just laid the stretcher bar on top of the canvas and I've got the staple gun that I'm going to be taking the edge of the canvas and stapling it to the wood here. I'll show you in a photograph. So I used a staple gun and I stapled the canvas onto the frame and now what I'm doing is I'm wetting the canvas uh, so that it will shrink so that it will be nice and tight in the uh, stretcher bar. I'm adding paint into the Sorensen Elementary drawings that are on the small canvases and I just had outlined them. Those are dried and now I'm adding paint and sometimes the paint goes over the edge and it's so exciting. I love it when that happens. It's 11.40 p.m. and I'm still working on the artwork for Sorensen Elementary. Here's the last one. Just got it painted. It's so cute. Paint's drying. Tomorrow I'll do second coat. Some other final details, but it is really turning out great. So Brighton, I would like you to tell me a little bit about this art piece that you drew. What is it? It's it's me flying my kite. I love it. And tell me about the details, because you added some special details in there. What did you do? I made like the string wobbly, just like, just like in real life. Awesome. And then what about that special thing on the kite to make it look happy? The face to make it look super happy and cute. Good. I love it. Great job. Did, did you enjoy working on this project? Yes. 